Hi everyone. So I thought I would give a tub pond update. Uh, the new gold white cloud mountain minnows from Aquahuna are doing really well. Um, they're settling in, swimming around, active, happy, so they're doing good. Um, but I made uh, kind of a discovery and some changes to the tub pond. I've been struggling with my floating plants for a long time and all season basically so far and um the salvinia just it was just doing terrible it was just doing really bad um it was brown and I mean, it was just struggling so hard and um i brought some of the plants inside uh, and put them on a put them in a little container on my kitchen table and it gets less light and a lot of them started to recover and actually do a lot better and so I realized that my tub pond was probably getting too much light too much sunlight um, and I'm in Southern California so the intensity of the light is it, it's very strong and uh, there a, a lot of full Sun for a long time during the day and so what I've done is I've used some uh, weed blocker cloth that I had and I cut two strips of it and I lay that over it during the day so that it blocks some of the sunlight but it still has plenty of sunlight coming through and it still has um, plenty of airflow and that seems to be working so this is some frog bit and giant uh, duckweed that I allowed to recover inside in the house for a little while and then I brought it out here and it's definitely growing much better and thriving a lot better um, you can see all the on the giant duckweed all the green leaves that's all new growth and you can see by the red of the leaves that it was just getting way too much Sun um, and the frog bit every day I'm getting new leaves on the frog bit so that's really great um, and let me pull over one of the uh, things with the water lettuce so here's the water lettuce um, the lights kind of funky today but it's growing a lot better already it's getting more new leaves every single day and it's doing a lot better um, with between the shade and pulling out the struggling salvinia um, it's just it's just doing a lot better let me see if I can just bring the light down yeah there we go now you can see it a little bit better sorry about that um, so all you can see where the kind of the outsides are a little bit yellow but all of the central leaves that's all new growth and it's just over the past couple of days so it's just doing so much better um, I've struggled with plants in my water for pretty much since the get-go um, but I think ultimately you do have to find the plants that are going to thrive in your individual water and situation so I think between um, pulling out the salvinia that just basically couldn't do well in my water which it it didn't it fell apart inside of my tanks too um so it just obviously doesn't like my water and uh adding a little bit more shade to the tubs which makes it incredibly ugly to look at but at least it's helping the plants to start to thrive so um I'll I'll end up showing what that looks like in another video I already pulled it off for right now because I'm gonna feed them here shortly but which is why they're all flocking around me <laughs> um, but anyway um, I'm hoping that I'll get some decent growth on the plants now that it basically seems like the dwarf water lettuce the frog bit and the giant duckweed and some regular duckweed are going to be what's gonna be optimal for this tub um, being in Southern California, it's the beginning of September, so I usually, the past few years, haven't had to pull the tropical fish out until basically around Halloween, so I've got about two months still to go in my season. Um, and so I think, you can see some more over here, I think um, 
I'll, I'll hopefully get some decent growth before things start to cool off. Um, the water lettuce grows really quickly and so does the frog bit. So we'll just see what happens, but I'm getting babies. I got guppy babies. I got uh, platy babies. I don't have any rice fish babies yet um, that I know of and I don't have white cloud babies yet that I know of, uh, but everyone's doing really good. Um, I did lose, I believe, one rice fish, but it was the oldest one uh, from last year. I haven't seen him in a couple of days, so that's a bit of a bummer, but you know what happens. Um, but everyone else is thriving and doing really well. The platy females look like they're going to be dropping fry soon. A couple of them are pretty chonky. Um, and so, yeah, everyone's just doing really good and swimming around and active and just doing good so just wanted to share that um that hopefully i've kind of resolved my struggles with my plants and yeah just basically you end up kind of find having to find what works for you and your water and your you know situation and we'll just kind of see how it goes but everyone's doing really good the platies are popping up to say hi and everyone's hungry so I'm gonna get off here and get them fed. And thanks so much for watching. And uh, please do all the YouTube things, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.